Hey everybody, this is D Hunter, bringing another action figure review. Today, we're going to look at the McFarlane DC Multiverse McFarlane Collector's Edition Wave 3 Captain Carrot. This is from Justice League Incarnate. Now, Captain Carrot is a very obscure DC hero. I didn't even know who Captain Carrot was before he appeared on the McFarlane League list. And I have no attachment to Captain Carrot, but this opens the door for a lot of other potential obscure characters McFarlane might make that I have a lot of interest in. So I really hope this guy sells well. From what I've seen so far, he actually seems to be selling pretty good. I pre this guy for the McFarland Toy Store, and he finally arrived today. Now there's a Platinum Chase variant of Captain Carrot, as well as the other figures in this wave, and I'm hoping to track them down. If anybody has a lead on them, let me know. Meantime, let's take a look at the packaging. As you can see, the top 22 moving parts, McFarland Toys, ages 12+. plus. McFarlane Collector's Edition, DC Multiverse, Captain Carrot. Here he is in the package. Looks like he has six hands. I think there's a flight stand back there. And then a collector's card and display stand for the collector's card. One side of the package, McFarlane Collector's Edition, Captain Carrot from Justice League Incarnate. This is the eighth figure in the collector's subline. Other side, not too much going on. On the back, here's a big picture of Captain Carrot from the comics. And at the bottom, here is his barcode in case that helps anybody. So with no further ado, let's open him up. And I did end up getting all three of these figures from this wave. Pretty them all to bundle, took advantage of the coupon code, the bundle discount, and got them all for a little bit under retail after shipping. All right, now that this figure out of the package, here he is with all his accessories laid out. He comes with four alternate hands, totaling six interchangeable hands, a flight stand, a collector's card, and display stand for his collector's card. But before we take a look at all that, let's talk about and check out the actual figure. So this is Captain Carrot, a rabbit from an alternate reality of cartoon animals. Rodney was a mild-mannered cartoonist until he ate a cosmic carrot. As a super-powered Captain Carrot, he joined the Zoo Crew, a team of wacky super animals. When his Earth was threatened, he came to our Earth and then became a regular animal. He was a stage rabbit until he grew in his powers and then helped fight Darkseid during Final Crisis. He's currently a member of the Justice League Incarnate team. His power includes flight, invulnerability, superhuman durability, and strength. Captain Carrot hails from a cartoon universe of Earth-26 where the laws of physics would allow him to survive otherwise fatal injuries like being crushed by a piano or having his head severed. Don't kill him because... He sort of operates with cartoon physics. Sounds weird? Because it is. So let's take a look. Start with his head here. He's a rabbit. He actually looks kind of evil, kind of mean, kind of mad, at least on his face. He has ears with pink fur on the inside, fur all over his face. He has his red mask to cover his identity because, God, no one's going to be able to identify who this guy is. As we go further down, he's got carrots as sort of the clamp holding his cape to his chest. Another carrot below the C on his chest for Captain Carrot. More carrots on his arms. His suit is very textured and doesn't actually look to be accurate, at least to the pictures I've seen of the modern Captain Carrot. Sometimes my friend likes to sort of overcomplicate their figures. It does look good, though. Backside, the cape also has a lot of texturing. It's very soft, movable. He has a little bunny tail in the back. Shake that tail feather. It is not articulated. He has double jointed elbows, double jointed knees, three toes on his feet. Overall, it's just a fun figure, fun, wacky, crazy character. And I hope this means that we're going to get more obscure characters from the DC universe. And a closer look at his face and head sculpt, which I would say is very well done. It looks good. The texturing, the fur, paint job, no issues here. And then, here's the figure broken down as far as he can go, with all of his removal parts detached. Now let's check out his accessories, and let's start off with his flight stand. His flight stand comes in two separate pieces. One put together, it's going to look like this. It has a circular base that says DC on it. It's got a peg for the pegos on his feet. And then it has this post going to the top, where it has a clamp to hold your figure. The clamp can rotate, it's also hinged, and can open and shut, holding your figure in a flight pose. Here's a look at Captain Carrot, utilizing the flight stand. His tail makes it a little bit difficult to use, but you can get around that if you're careful. Now let's look at his collector's card. As you can see, it's an image of Captain Carrot from the comics. McFarlane Collector's Edition. 
On the back side, there is a description, and it's a weird, crazy description. If you want to read that, go ahead and pause now. And it doesn't do much for me, but if you want to display his collector's card next to the figure, it comes with its own little stand. I hate to see this is where your money's going with the collector's edition figures. Now let's look at his hands. He has a total of six of them, three right hands and three left hands. Here he is with his first pair of hands. His right hand is a gripping hand with a trigger finger, and his left hand is a fist. And here's his next pair of hands. This is a pair of open hands. I believe these are his flight hands. And it should be noted, he only has a total of four fingers on each hand. And here's his third pair of hands. These are a pair of fun hands. Add some personality to the figure. His right hand has a thumbs up, and his left hand has the index finger pointing. You can see, thumbs up, and here he is pointing at somebody. Now that we've taken a pretty good look at both the figure and his accessories, now let's check out his height. From bottom to the top of his head, staying about 7.2 inches tall, which can translate to just over 18 centimeters. And if you go to the top of the ears, about 8.5 inches tall. Now for his articulation, starting with his head, and actually starting with his ears. His ears are on ball joints. You can go forward and back, side to side, and really just move all over the place, and that goes for both of them. Very nicely done. His head, of course, you can rotate from side to side. You can look up and down about that much. Can tilt his head from one side to the other. Shoulders, on a ball joint, goes out a little bit more than 90 degrees. Up, down, around, all that good stuff. He does have this butterfly joint between his shoulder and chest, increasing the range of motion and cover the large gap that would be there. Bicep cut below that. Double jointed elbows, they go in that far. His wrist can rotate and it's gonna be hinged as well. In his torso, he's got a ball joint. Rotate around, forward and back. Another one in his waist. Rotate around, forward and back. Between the two, and it's a good range of motion, but kind of limited compared to most of the other McFarland figures. I also want to comment his wrists are really loose with the rotation. Legs, completely does the splits. McFarland style hip joints. Rotation is non existent. Then go forward all the way, back not much. Double jointed knees below that. And then his ankles, forward and back. Rotate, tilt, rock. And of course, to articulation. Here's Captain Carrot laying on a pile of carrots. He's living his best life. Here's Captain Carrot giving you a thumbs up. Carrot under the other arm. And then here's Captain Carrot eating one of those carrots. He's going to eat his way out of this situation. Now let's check him out. Next is Mother Action Figures. Starting off with Mother Rabbit Figures. And I didn't realize just how many I had. Here he is next to the Jazzwares Fortnite Rabbit Raider. I got four of these guys to use as Mad Hatter Henchmen. And here he is, next to some Jazzwares Dark Rabbit Raiders. I also got these for Mad Hatter Henchmen. Then, with several different McFarland Fortnite Night Hair figures, I also got these to use as Mad Hatter Henchmen. And now, with several Mattel wrestling figures and rabbit suits, I have no idea who this guy is, but they made for some actually pretty crappy figures. But I also got these to enhance my Mad Hatter collection. Here he is, next to a Hasbro Marvel Legends rabbit. I believe she's a Spider-Man villain. As um, I'm sure you can guess, I got her to enhance my Mad Hatter collection as well. And I got a second one of these figures, did a head swap, and I have the start of a White Rabbit custom. White Rabbit is a modern Bat Rogue. Then, next to this weird sort of evil rabbit, this came in a sort of outlandish Alice in Wonderland set. And now, with a mechanical rabbit, this came with an animated Mad Hatter figure. Here's Captain Carrot with a couple of small little rabbits. These hang out on my Mad Hatter shelf. And let's not forget, here he is next to a Bugs Bunny figure. This is Bugs Bunny as Batman. And here he is next to a Hasbro Fortnite clock figure. These guys can be best friends. Now let's check him out next to some other McFarlane DC Multiverse figures. Here he is next to the first wave of McFarlane Collector's Edition figures. Both the regular and the Platinum Chase variants of First Period Superman. Alan Scott Green Lantern and the Abyss. And here he is, next to both the regular and Platinum Chase variants of Firestorm, Hawkman, and Sinestro. This is the second wave of McFarlane Collector's Edition figures. Now, this third wave has Platinum Chase variants as well, and I'm on the hunt for all three of them. If anyone has a lead out there, drop me a line below. 
Now, rumor is the fourth wave, and I don't know where you count Wonder Woman, she's like sort of the third and a half wave, but rumor is the fourth wave is going to be Captain Boomerang, Penguin, and Starfire. I hope that ends up being true. And of course, here he is with the rest of the third wave of Collector's Edition figures. Batman as Green Lantern, Captain Carrot, and then Superman from Return of Superman. Now let's check him out. Next is one of their recently released McFarlane DC Multiverse figures. Here he is, next to the gold label, Big Bad Toy Store exclusive, black and white accent, Aquaman, Joker, and Martian Manhunter. And here he is, next to some recent McFarlane Toy Store exclusive gold label figures. We have the line art sketch version of Black Manta, the Dudley Duo Joker, the Patina variant of Merciless, Interrogation Room Joker, and Catman. Then, next to the Batman and Robin movie wave, Collective Build and Arnold Schwarzenegger, Mr. Freeze. And now, with the most recent Tart exclusive gold label figures, Midnighter and Wave Rider. Here's Captain Carrot with the Tart exclusive Flashpoint Wave, Collective Build Cyborg. And here he is with some recent Amazon exclusive gold label glow in the dark variants of the infected Batman, Titan Joker, Swamp Thing, and John Stewart Green Lantern. Then, next to some recent Entertainment Earth exclusive figures, we have the Black Light figures on the left and the Sketch Line Art figures on the right. Next, with the Injustice 2, Superman, and Brainiac. And now, with the Last Son on Earth, Batman vs. Omega 2-pack. And finally, next to the Dark Knights of Steel Batman, and both versions of the Jim Gordon Batman. Now let's check him out. Next to some action figures from different various companies, so we can see how he fits in, both scale and style-wise. In case you want note signs you can mix them with. Since he's a McFarland toy, they're typically the 7-inch scale. I'm going to start off my comparisons with some of the larger action figure lines I collect. And work way smaller. But first, let's check him out with some of his McFarland Toys brothers. In front of you are five different action figure lines, all McFarland Toys, all 7 inch scale. And now, next to some Jack specific wrestling figures and some DST or Diamond Select toys, here's Captain Carrot next to, you guessed it, a carrot. And here he is, next to some DC Direct and some NECA figures. Then, with some Mattel and some Jazzwares wrestling figures. And now, with both some Mezco and Mattel DC figures, then with some Mafex and some Hasbro Marvel Legends, and finally next to some SH figure arts and some Jazz Wars Fortnite figures. So overall, Captain Carrot is pretty cool. I would say the sculpt is fantastic. Yeah, maybe it's a little bit over textured or over sculpted, but I like it a lot. I think it's awesome. His articulation, it's good. A little bit limited to the waist area. I love that his ears are articulated. I wish his tail was as well. His accessories, eh, you got the extra hands. Not really much else going for this guy. I don't really have any good suggestions what he should come with. Maybe a big carrot, but I don't know if he ever had anything like that in the comics or not. Now, I love the fact they're releasing this crazy, obscure character. I don't think anybody was asking for a Captain Carrot. I know I sure wasn't. I don't even know who this guy was. But, if this guy sells well... Maybe to open the door to other obscure characters that I'm interested in. I would love to get all these weird, obscure, corny bat rogues. I mean, honestly, McFarland has already given us Polka Dot Man, Lord Death Man, King Tut, Egghead, The Abyss. I consider those to be pretty obscure bat rogues, and I hope to get more stuff like that. Still, this figure is really cool. A lot of fun. If I were to rate this guy, I think I'm even an 8 out of 10. Maybe it's just because he's new and in front of me. I don't know, but I like him a lot. He's a lot of fun. He'll be great for an Easter video if I get around to doing one next year. So this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add to the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure reviews from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate when you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll talk to you guys real soon.